Welcome to the homework for lesson 24. This is module four of grade one. Get your name on here first. And this is about solving using number bonds. Write the two number sentences that show you added the 10 first and draw quick tens and ones if that helps you. So you can see the first one is, is all done. Just write that 29 right there. And hopefully this will be a hint about how to do it. So we started with the 16, we split it up the 10 and the, split up the 10 and the 3, decompose that. And we're looking at this, so we have the 16, we're going to add the 10 first, just because it's easy, it's always easy to add 10s. One more 10, 26, we've been practicing that a lot. And then count up three more from the 26, and that's this number sentence there. So that's the idea is adding the 10 first. That's what this is all about. So we're starting, and usually you'll break up break up the smaller number. Most of the time when you're doing these things, or especially when you're doing mental math, and you're adding these two adding two numbers together, you're gonna you're gonna add to the larger number. So that means you're gonna be breaking up the smaller number. Or what really is the best is to add up the one, is to split up the one with fewer ones in it because then you don't have to count up as much. But we'll go with this. We're splitting up the 16 here, so taking the 23 and adding the 10 first, 33, and then add the 33 to the other part of the number bond, 33 plus 6. And we just have to look at the 3 plus 6, 39. Sixteen plus fourteen. Starting by splitting up the smaller number, adding the ten first, twenty-six, and then take that twenty-six and add four more. And you might recognize six and four are partners to ten right there. So you're going to have twenty plus another ten, thirty. Here's 14 plus 26, breaking up the smaller number. Add the 10 to the 26, 36. And then we're going to add the rest of that number bond, the other part, <coughs> to the 36. 36 plus 4. And you can see the same thing again, that same 6 plus 4. But now we have three 10s in 36. And we're going to have one more 10, 40. And you can always just count that up, 37, 38, 39, 40. But when you see those partners to 10, like you do here, 7 and 3, there they are again. All right, so now we have to figure out more and more of what we have to do. Starting with the 17. And we're going to add to it the 10 from the 13. 10. 17, easy to add, 10s, 27. And now we're going to add to the 27, the other part of the number bond. And there's our, that gets us the rest of the way to 30. And this is almost the same problem, except now it's 27 plus 13 instead of 17 plus 13. So it's one more 10 in one of the add-ins. We're going to end up with 40 probably. But let's see what happens. The 13, now we have to figure out how to split up the 13. Well, we already know because we did it in part E already. 10 and 3, because you always want to get that 10 out. So you can add it to the first add in, 27 plus 10. 37, and then add the remaining part to the 37, and it does get you. 38, 39, 40. And just more of the same here. They started the first one for us here. And then later on uh, in the page, we'll see that they won't have the blanks for the number sentences, but we still have to write the number sentences and we have to choose which number to split up. And 
and make our own number bonds. We'll have to do all of it for ourselves. So here, take the smaller number, split it up, 10 and 3. So that's we're going to start with the 14 and add the 10, 20, 24. And then add the remaining part, that 3, for 27. And now we're looking at 24 plus 14. Now the 14 is smaller, so we're going to split that one up, 10 and 4. And starting with the larger number, 24, add the 10 first, 34, and take the 34 and add the remaining part, 4 for 38. You can see that 4 plus 4, you might know your double there for 4 plus 4 is 8. And you still have the 30 for 38. 15 plus 14. Well, 14 is the smaller number, so I'm going to split that one up to 10 and 4. And I'm going to start with adding, to the, fifth, adding the 15 to the 10, right? Adding the 10 first, so 15 plus 10, 25, and then take the 25 and add that remaining part, the 4. 5 plus 4 is 9, so you know we're going to have 9 ones, 2 tens, 29. And this is going to be similar because we have, we have a 4 and a 5 for ones here again. So split up the smaller number, 15, that's 10, 5. Add the 24 and the 10, 34, and then add the 34 to the 5, the other part, the 5, 39. Now I hope this doesn't confuse everybody, but uh, I mentioned this before and I just want to give one example of it. Usually for looking at this 22 plus 17, we'd the routine that we've been doing is we take the smaller number and split that one up but you could it works also if you split up the other number and I think sometimes if you do this you take the one that has fewer ones it's gonna be easier to count up the ones and you'll see what I mean I just want to show it this way to explain it. it'll it still work either way so this is 22 so it's gonna be 20 and 2 and now we're gonna start with a 17 and add the 20 well, it's 110 here, and we're adding two more tens, 30, and we still have the seven, the seven ones, 37. And now we just have to add up two more, 38, 39, 37 plus two, 39. So you might want to do it that way. Usually we just look at just take the smaller number and split that one up but I think it's sometimes it's easier to look at which number has fewer ones and split that number up because then you don't have to count up as much um, and this one it turns out that they're the same number because 12 is smaller than 27 so 10 and it also has fewer ones 10 and 2 27 plus the 10 37 again and 37 plus the 2, 39. Write it down over here too, 39. And you might notice here that 8 and that 2, they're going to add up to 10. So, but just to use our number bond strategy, you might, you probably can do this. You might be able to do this in your head. You see that that's 10 and then there's a 10 here and a 10 there. That's three tens and that's 30. Good on you if you see that right off and you can do that in your head. And you could probably write that down the arrow way. And it would be a lot faster than, it might be faster than the number bonds. So sometimes the numbers work out that way that writing it down with arrow way might be better than using number bonds. But let me just keep going here. It says to use the number bonds for all of these. So that's what I'm going to do. So I can start with the 18 and add the 10, 28, and then add the 2, the other part, 
30. And here again, splitting up the smaller number, 10 and 2, 28. And you might guess, see that we're adding 12 to both of these, and they both have 8s for 1s digits. So, but there's one more 10 here. So if there's one more 10 in this add end for H, then we're probably gonna have 40 for our total. We'll see what happens. 28 plus this 10, 38, and then 38 plus this two, 40. That's how it worked out.